Hello everybody, it's Soren here from Whipper Gaming and welcome back to the basic bucket plugging tutorials. This is episode 5, we have 5 down already and we're getting close to finishing our plugin. Uh, in the last few episodes, just a quick recap, we managed to start coding the bulk of our plugin, we managed to get most of the uh, on enable finished. We'll be doing some of the on disable today, hopefully. I know I'm going to finish the debugging and the plugin loader. Uh, we did the basic play listener and another recap is the play listener is called upon when the player does something that's why it listens for the player in our case we made it listen to whenever the player uses a command more specifically when the player uses for slash basic we also put a string which is like a variable and within the string we made sure it got the message and if there was any spaces in it it would split the message and we also made sure it, uh, it didn't look for uppercase or lowercase that's why it ignores the case Another thing that I didn't really explain was the toggle vision method. Now, the toggle vision, toggle vision, toggle vision method is something to do with the hash map, and what it will do, it will toggle the player's status when they're in the hash map. But we don't need to worry about that yet. I'm just giving you a quick explanation of it. We will be uh, getting on to that probably in a few more episodes of time. I'm, today's tutorial will just be about a few general bug fixes. Now, some people have pointed out to me that I did make a few mistakes, I didn't put a space in between the basic and the player listener and I spelt listener wrong but I might might have spelled it, yeah, might have spelled it wrong but it doesn't actually matter if you spell it wrong because it's actually uh, it will work depending on whatever your uh, class files are sorry I'm starting for words there but now I've fixed those and I need to fix this down here uh, they're firing up errors obviously because the block listener isn't created and I will be getting onto the block listener next tutorial I don't want to just throw another uh, class file on you after we just did one last tutorial right so what we're going to be doing now is we're going to be adding the another method which goes underneath the hash map what we need to do is we need to keep it in there we need to do if I can actually type this time public basic Open your uh, brackets. Sorry, I had a mind fart then, I couldn't remember anything. Plugin loader. Plugin loader. Let's get rid of that. We need to do server instance. We need to do plugin description file. This. So, before I carry on, what we're basically doing here is we're getting the uh, getting the plugin ready to be loaded so what we've done up here is as you know we've defined everything and what we're doing now in this method is we are loading the plugin obviously that's why it's the plugin loader and obviously it's a server instance we're getting the description and I'll just carry on we need to put uh, description file sorry I'm lost where I am uh, file folder file plugin We'll do is put space there. Class loader city loader. Okay, so why are some of these wrong? Because you need to import the file from. Okay, uh, oh, I don't know. Uh, probably from Java. There you go. That's my recommendation. Uh, import server from bucket. Import that from bucket. And there you go. That's all of the errors from that gone. So I'll go over this again. We imported file from Java. We imported server from bucket and plugin loader from bucket. And again, what this is doing is whenever the server is switched on and this plugger plugin is installed, this method here is going to load the plugin. It's going to make sure it's a server instance. It's going to get the description file, file folder, file plugin, etc. All right, guys. It turns out that I wasn't actually supposed to do that part yet. Just ignore the super. We're going to be coming back to that later. Uh, we'll leave those inside the uh, in the class in the parentheses in the method there. So again, we'll come back to that later. We're going to be moving on to the on disabled part. Okay, for the on disabled part, this is relatively simple. All we want to do is we want it to print out that basic has been disabled. So this is very very easy. If you know what you need to do, just go ahead and do system dot out dot print line and we put that basic I need to put the uh, speech marks basic disabled let's put our semicolon there there you go and that's going to tell us whenever the plugin is disabled in the console so for example in bucket you type 
stop uh, it will come up with all the plugins that are stopping and in there it would say basic disabled which is pretty handy I guess if you want to know when your plugins being disabled um, one other thing I need to include is the uh, method for when it's debugging so I think it's underneath the on enabled let's put our Eclipse project down here a bit and let's type in the following code is public boolean and there you go there's a boolean again uh, it's followed by is debugging now again the boolean is wherever it is true or false which relates to the is debugging because it's seeing if it's true or false so let's continue this code we're going to put a final and it's going to be player player obviously seeing this is the player put a parenthesis in let's see if debuggies what contains ah not player key and then we want to put player another parenthesis then put return debuggies dot get player and then we need to put else return false one of those and there we go right so what's going on in this section of the code is I need to put that back on what's going on in this section of the code is we're starting another method where it's the public boolean uh, is saying if it is debugging if the value is true or false when it's debugging it will find the player and if the debuggies contains the player it will move on which is going to be the other method of the uh, set debugging but I haven't gone to that yet so that won't, the if won't make sense yet so it will check if it contains the key player uh, if it doesn't which is what the return is there for return is basically say you're entering a piece of code and it's checking um, if the player has placed a bit of TNT if it hasn't you just need to type return and then it won't bother going through any other code you've got checking if a player does so it saves time on time and resources on the server side and this else is saying if it contains the player if not get the player it's saying else it will return false so it's saying if this does this if it doesn't it will return false so that's pretty simple actually uh, we're going to move on to the actual debugging uh, method right here which is public void set debugging again final player player final let's get rid of that there don't need to put enough space I keep doing that boolean value again the true or false value which is coming up uh, along in this put parenthesis not a p you want to put debuggies dot put player that needs to be lowercase so I thought this needs to be uppercase and the value put a semicolon there parenthesis right now this method is enabled which checks to see if the player is in the hash map called basic users as I said before once it's debugging it will find if the player is in <clears throat> basic users which is what it says here it's saying if it's in, if it went air I can't speak today when it's debugging it will put the player in the value um, that's all I'm gonna do for today because this, I wanted this to be quite a short tutorial um, I will carry on with these for a long time because I want to get the actual plugin finished so this has been Torrent for Whipper Gaming signing out if this video uh, helped you make sure to like and subscribe I know it's been a bit sketchy but I'm actually trying to rush these out so you guys get a good video so thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time